Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. I am Bryce Castillo, your free show, green room, great room navigator. The whole dang thing bringing you into the beginning part of this little thing we call Great Night. And I hope that you have one with us here on the podcast. Coming up, we're going to be talking boats. We're, we're always talking boats. We're always talking boats, which is how it goes. That's kind of coming up. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some sports stuff, some, uh, some aquatic stuff, all sorts of stuff here. Got a lot of good stories coming up for you. Uh, we also got a game. We're going to play the Would You Rather game. You guys remember Would You Rather? We've got the Would You Rather font. Uh, uh, we prompted it, and you guys are going to have to see. Would you rather? Would the internet rather? Well, I guess we need to pick a name for that game. Well, uh, maybe we'll take it over to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, we can. Would you rather can hear, you hear us? Can we you can. hear me? <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. Oh, I yeah. should sit up straighter. I got to look like a grown-up. Here we go. Look there we are. Here. There we yeah. are. Hello, friends. What's going on, dude? Uh, dude, what's going on, dude? Dude. So, uh, where did that word come from, dude? Uh, well, that's that's a moniker nobody would self-apply for where I'm from. <laughs> I saw a picture. The dude. I saw a picture of uh, ravishing Rick, dude. There's a that man. That was ravishing Rick Rude, but with uh, the dude's <laughs> face Rick on it. Dude. It was pretty good. And I'm not going to call him a great man, but there's a man. There, there's a man. I plum they forgot called, what I was talking and about. They were, <laughs> and they called him the dude. The dude. I, I am terribly afraid that my children are going to reach adulthood and there will have never been a right time for me to share the Big Lebowski with them. Isn't that kind of for the best? Yeah. Like, like, because they should experience that in, in young adulthood, yeah, right? In col- really in college, I would think. Uh, sure. I mean, I would say, yeah, that that's a... I mean, I guess it came out when we were It, it came in out in 1999, and it was set oh, in 1992. Oh, pre-college, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was like it was like just very near nostalgia of, like, the Iraq War and stuff like that. Right. Uh, the... Uh, mm, this aggression will not stand, no, man. For me, it's... <laughs> there, there's there's some, a, I mean, for me, it's thing. like a, a second cock for $100. Ha, ha, ha. Delightful. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, he's, he's like, Brent, Brent can't watch unless he pays 100 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, man. Rest <laughs> in peace. Slow. By the way, you know, he was offered the role of the bad guy. Um, what's his, the, the guy who died? What's his name? Uh... uh, uh it became one of the greatest Jeez. actors ever. Yeah, uh, uh, Seymour Hoffman. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, Philip uh, Seymour the Hoffman. master. Yeah, yeah. Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was offered the job or, uh, or the role of the bad guy in uh, Billy Madison, and uh, uh, he had like auditioned for it, went all the way through, and uh, uh, Adam Sandler what loved a, him. What a crazy! And he was like, he was like, oh yeah, like, like you, you've got the thing. Uh, and he called, and, and all of a sudden, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's agent calls back to the production company. He's like, "Yeah, he's not going to take it." And and uh, uh, Adam Sandler's like, "What?" Like, and so he calls him, and he's like, "Hey, uh, uh, you went, you came out, and you auditioned, and we love you. Like, it's going to be great. We're going to have a really, really great time." And he's like, "Are you going to make me say it to you?" <laughs> <laughs> And he's what, like, what's uh, it? That if he's not not gonna do it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, apparently he was like, uh, and and we had you saw it throughout his career. His comedy shit was legendary. It yes. would have made that movie that was already a hit. Yes. Probably even a bigger hit. But also, he probably would have wound up earlier getting pigeonholed more as a comedic yeah. guy than a dramatic God, guy. He's so good, so good. Uh, so Josie last night. Uh, we watched the penultimate episode of Breaking Bad. Okay. Okay. Because she has watched all of Breaking Bad. And she while... She has that over me. Because at... she's, she's an edgy 14-year-old. Well, I... Uh... Oh, is that edgy? I, or is see, that like I, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's TVMA, but of course, you know, when I was 14, that would be what I would want to watch too. Yeah. 
No, but she's like a. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what the what, what what the line is on girls and boys these days in our in our new modern society. But yeah, what is the line? <laughs> uh, again, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't see lines. But uh, but I, I, I what what I don't know is whether or not a 14 year old girl would be like, oh, shamed for liking boy shit in the way that oh a, oh no no, no. no, no, no. yeah uh, 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 her and her uh, friend from school uh, are watching it and it was it was like this race thing where one would be ahead of the other yeah and and uh, like she's fully invested in the story for the sto- story's sake and is all the way in um, man I forgot. God, there's a lot of stuff that happens only in the very final episode of that series that I thought was set up in the penultimate episode. Um, uh, like like uh, uh, the next to last ep- uh, spoilers for Breaking Bad. For Breaking Bad, uh, yeah. Uh, ends with, with, with him making the call and then seeing Charlie Rose interview, uh, which, by the way, that didn't. Uh, 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 interviewing the people who screwed him out of Grey Matters uh, Industries or whatever, and then uh, clearly hatching the plan that becomes the finale. Uh, And so right now, Josie's watching it, and uh, I'm going to have to go home, and tomorrow, because she'll already be in bed by the time I get home, uh, I'll have to explain how I don't believe the director... Or the writer when they say no, 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 the final episode happened. I only believe Norm Macdonald and his pi- hypothesis that spoilers for the end of Breaking Bad uh, that Walter White actually dies and in the last minutes of consciousness uh, is this fever dream of a bonkers Rube Goldberg superhero uh, inventor mechanic. Uh, engineer rescue operation that happens at the end of Breaking Bad. You didn't like the last action set piece. I loved all of it, but once Norm MacDonald said, oh, it's brilliant, it's clearly a fever dream as he's dying, I couldn't unsee it. You know he's dead. Uh, Walter White? Norm. Norm. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. So maybe he's he can't hurt you anymore. Yeah. Did he do it? No. Yeah. No. Uh, you, no. He 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 elevated. Maybe me. that idea was a fever dream as he was dying. <laughs> he was Wait. breaking the norms. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm I'm uncomfortable That's with you talking about Norm Macdonald this way. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, about about a year ago, uh, 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 we 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 lost Norm. So yeah. R.I.P. Already. Legend. Yeah. Which somebody was uh, the 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 tweet that they retweeted was him just destroying fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson, which just validates so many things in my life. Like <laughs> just just uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson with a totally cynical like, hey, just so you know, the universe doesn't care about you and uh, wants to see you dead. And then Norm Macdonald saying like, hi Neil, uh, 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 we're all part of the universe, and I want to see. You live a happy and successful life. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, I think that we all do care about each other. Uh, have a good day. <laughs> and if it weren't for the fact that his Twitter account was 1% that and 90% live tweeting golf, <laughs> I, w- I would have been more into Norm McDonald's Twitter feed. Uh, did, did you watch the like practice rehearsal Netflix special thing? Got really good. I, oh, 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 now, now I'm crossing. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Look, it's him. It's him. Literally, just recording a reference track. So, like, on on one hand, I guess, like in the back of his mind, he's thinking about his immortality. But also, I'm assuming he just wanted to get stuff down so he could then use it later. Uh, and he gave it to Netflix. But it's him just like not even doing a stand up. A, a, a routine for like a Twitch stream. He's, he's just trying to get this. Stuff he's out. kind of like just like looking. He's half looking off camera. Like it's very weird. So mm. I definitely skewed it on to the end where it's a panel of like Dave Chappelle, uh, David Letterman, and uh, a few other like of his closest friends that are comedian famous friends. And uh, I I was like, oh, let me watch what they were talking about. But they had literally just watched it and then they were having a very stand-up comic conversation about like what bits would have killed and what bits like wouldn't have killed and blah 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 and i'm Mm. like okay so this is all just kind of i'm sure for the people that it matters to 
it's very it's amazing that Netflix made this headstone for an amazing human. I I would have thought you to be the perfect target demographic as somebody who loves his work and loves the process and loves stand up comedy and the refining thereof and it's it's like as if your favorite writer director uh just kind of read his script in a like not particularly theatrical like yeah, like way, and then other people who were also like, like I'm an appreciator of it. Right. I'm not a practitioner of it. Like they can see things where it's like, oh, I know, I've seen him perform so many times live. I mm. know where that would have killed. Blah blah blah. Where like I don't, because to be totally honest, as much as I love Norm Macdonald and I love stand up comedy, I was never a gigantic fan of Norm Macdonald's stand up comedy. Yeah. In that mm. like. I don't know a special for which he was famous for. He was never really famous for a special. He's, he's probably best for couch. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, when he died, it was all uh, stuff on Conan and, yeah. uh, and David Letterman, Letterman and stuff yeah. like that. <laughs> he was mainly famous for kicking other uh, over uh, 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 stone hinges of other folks. Yeah. But he had, I mean, like he had the, the whole like professor of logic joke which again was the thing that was best done on conan o'brien right but do you mm. know that one mm. professor of logic no 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 so uh nor mcdonald channel he's uh, a moment he's he's uh going to the bus station down at the corner of his block and uh okay, he sees I his neighbor channel conan uh, <laughs> he sees his yeah. neighbor oh no, you want me to do the impression yeah, no, okay and gotcha. I'll, I'll do conan all right, all right, gotcha. we're, okay. we're going yeah. full yeah. Here we go. uh, yeah, 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 just yeah. just be uncomfortable yeah <laughs> so uh, uh so i'm fat <laughs> huh? yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you were telling me about yeah. the story right before we went live i mean you're uh, you're working really hard you have a lot of projects going on uh uh, uh what's going on in your world norm well, you know, I'm uh, trying to get to know my neighbors. Oh, sure. I mean, and, we all uh, love our neighbors. Yeah, we all I, was, uh, I was walking uh, down to the bus stop, see? Yeah. And uh, I, I, I talked to my neighbor. My, my neighbor, uh -huh. he says he's a professor of logic at Science University. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said he's a professor of professor logic of logic at science, at science university that, downtown. That famous accredited da downtown. University. Okay, yeah. so it's a real yeah. university. Uh -huh. Science university. And I'm like, uh, that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, With, what do they teach there? He, uh, uh, well, he's a professor of logic. <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm like, well, what do you do with that? I have the same questions. <laughs> and I say, uh, uh, professor of logic. He goes, Norm. Yeah, because of my studies, I can I can tell certain things about you. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, just by logic. Yeah, see, and so he goes, uh, Norm, do you have a doghouse? And I go, Well, uh, yes, I do. I do have a doghouse. <laughs> and he goes, Well, logically, I can assume that you have a dog, and if you have a dog, uh, I'm assuming that you have uh, kids. Uh, and I said, well, yes, I, I do. I do have kids. And he said, well, if you, have, makes sense. if you have kids, then logically I can assume that you have a wife. And I said, well, well, yes. And, and logically I can then assume that you're married. And he said, well, of course, yes. Maybe if I have a wife, of course I'm married. That was the easiest one. And uh, so I'm blown away. And then he gets on the bus and I got on another bus and that's that. So the next, uh, the next day I come back down to the bus stop where you meet. Again, no. I meet another neighbor, a different neighbor, different neighbor. What university does he teach at? Well, I don't know, but he yeah. goes to me. He says, "Hey, did you uh, 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 meet the, the other guy?" And I go, "Yeah." And he's like, "Oh, I, I, we got on the bus the other day too fast. I didn't ask what he did." And he goes, "Oh, well, I told him my new neighbor. Yeah, uh, he's a professor of logic." And he's like, "Oh, well, what is that?" And he's like, "Well, I can help you out." Uh, sir, do you have a doghouse? Uh, uh, well, I would... And he says, no. And I go, well, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, all right. All of us stuck to our characters except for you. Andy Richter would not be laughing that way. Like, he would be what? squirming what? and uncomfortable what? while I, as Coda, would be laughing uncontrollably. <laughs> Oh yeah, my God! Uh, uh, this although is... I, I think I think he used the F slur. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> different time. It was in the nineties. It was in the nineties. Uh, 
This not that different. This is a fun game. I I want to I want to I want to role play. <laughs> <laughs> we we uh, we should study the bits and then and, and recreate then do, uh, do, do cover do the couch yeah. images. Yeah, we should do cover we should do cover Conan. Yeah. Let's go downtown and do Al Cover Borley. Conan. Somebody uh, can book us for Cover Conan. Oh my God, this is a great co yeah. Cover Conan. Holy fuck! All you got to do is is just dig up all the best things, and then I, I'm just restating the premise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all you have to do. <laughs> all you have to do is cover like when you cover a song. Yes. Yeah. And then Much like, like uh, that, then that would that would be like a cover band. Well, no, I tell you, right? no, 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 Wow. Like that's that's it's what just, I would really. I would so it's want just to... Carlos Mencia. We'd all be Carlos oh, Mencia. Yeah. That's what we would be doing because he sold uh, jokes. Oh, because he sold jokes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not, Not because I... some of us look Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, no. Yeah. Because I was like, I was like, like, wait, did, did Carlos Mencia like? Did he have the same rhythm with Dennis Miller? Like. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> he just stole jokes. Did, yeah, did he just did he just like he uh, re replace Chachi with Hefe? Like That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny if it's like Carlos Mencia, but he's just like, well, let me tell you this about the Pope, <laughs> Chachi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe. <laughs> Come on, babe. It's like Vincente. You can't get in that 6'4", Cholo. <laughs> it's like Vincente. Although Fox. that actually sounds like fucking Dennis Miller. Yeah. <laughs> I called 311 the other night. For we uh, did, did they sing? That's 411. I would oh. swallow my pride. I would choke on That's the rhymes. definitely Eve, Was it a trash can Eve situation? Something? Eve 6. Eve, okay. Who's Eve three, 6? Uh, 311. I wish you would step away from the ledge, my friend. Third Eye Blind. Okay. Um, you are still naming Jesus. bands with numbers in it, um, uh, You I, are I, on I, a street with two hold bands on, with no, numbers in it. I'm going to land on one. Yeah. Um, nope. Uh, mm, yep. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's, uh, you I, better I, come original. I I, I want to go do 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 do, but that no. was that was uh, uh, that was also third eye blind. Uh, yeah, okay. three 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 three. Millions of peaches. <laughs> That's President of the United States. And yeah. we're done because yeah. that one didn't have a number. So three that one didn't have a number. Oh, a single three eleven song. Amber is the color of your energy. Ooh. Oh. Amber is the color of your energy. Oh shit! Yeah. Right. So for what? And come reason? original, which I literally told you while you were doing that. Yeah. You yeah. better come original. You better come original. I already All came. entertainers come original. I need a nap. Um, I'm old. Yeah. yeah. No, they were like 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 semi sonic. Like uh, uh not semi sonic. More well, like sublime. Yeah. Like in that they were like reggae. Tinged not as like reggae as as Sublime was, but they were like new metal plus a soft kind of like reggae influence. Three Eleven. Mm. So, so I called them up last. You night. called Three Eleven the band, I and them up. they they are now a, 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 a municipal utility. <laughs> so I it was it was in the evening, and there's a there's a stop there's a stoplight out uh, off the road to my to my apartment All yeah right. and yeah you, you need it because it's there's not a you need it for the turn lane it's a t-junction whatever and uh pulling out the other the other day haha uh i was waiting to take a left mm -hmm. okay waiting and i can see the stop you know the crosswalk right it's counting down it's a great indicator right perfect oh, tooltip. No. it counts down to zero it clicks back to walk the lights don't change. Uh, okay. The crosswalks. So you're being a good citizen. I'm being yeah. I'm being good and not illegally breaking the law. And there are no cars coming. Well, there were some. There were still cars and okay. stuff. But it was never. It was never. The red and green weren't changing. Okay. Right. Uh, and and so you're like stuck there for a few minutes, and then you realize, okay, well now I'm gonna have to to to, to pull off. Right. You know, go another way. Can, um, can I have a follow up question? Okay. Is this a four lane road? Like you have two lanes, but yeah. you can turn, you can turn There's, left from either lane. Uh, no, it's no, it's okay. No, okay, it's it's fine. Thank but, you. Continue. Uh, so I call I call them up because not it's not a nine one one right right, and 
Uh, uh, and they go, hello, how uh, can I help you? Well, oh, I got a, I got a traffic light out. Okay, w where at? It's at this corner. Okay, which street were you on? So you had just told them told the them cross streets? The, yeah, the cross street. Like, and they're like, which one at, were you which on? Which one were you on? Yeah, I, does it, it doesn't, I don't know, I was on These streets line. cross. I don't know if you are, are familiar, 311, with the concept of cross streets, but I mean, these streets are crossing the, currently. It's all, the whole, Even as we speak, all, these streets are crossing. <laughs> More of a T-junction. Yeah. But it, but it was very strange to be like, well, this is probably a common thing. I shouldn't be troubleshooting your form. Right. What do you right. need from me? The light's out. Go fix it. Right. Um, and so it was just very, it was, it, and then they were like, oh, do you want to like leave your information so you can get a follow up? No, no, what? just fix fucking it. fix it. Fucking fix it. So what? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fixed today. It is now. It fixed. did get fixed. It, but I think, I feel like it took a day or salute so. Salute to the city of Austin. Their app, their app We sucks. want to salute the city of Austin. When wait, wait, hold on. I, I want you to talk more shit uh, uh, because I saw you tweet about. <laughs> Uh, 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 a certain website, oh. and I think I know what website it is. Uh, uh, is it a website that that determines all of our salaries? No, because I saw you but going have... back and forth with them. And by the way, also I them. fucking very agree. I very much agree with your complaints on the new Patreon redesign, which oh, is got it. Uh, uh, has given me it... fucking multiple heart attacks mm -hmm. because for whatever reason. They're the only thing I care about and I look at all the time is how much money I am making per thing. Per thing. But they default now not to what I write on the site, which is per week, mm -hmm. but they default to per month. Oh, and so, they like estimate it? No, so no, they don't. It's just a glitch. Oh. So every time I'm looking at it and I'm like, that's not that's not real. Right. And so then I gotta go check and make sure that everything's fine because it's my entire fucking livelihood. Yeah. But uh, uh, the thing that you were complaining about that I also agree with, way inside. It's so uh, small. It's, it, it, it's to schedule a fucking post. Their shit is so fucked and it is so annoying. Okay. Uh, you got two text input fields. You need to input a time. You need to input the time twelve noon. This is like the weirdest hypnotist routine I've ever experienced. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. You click yes. on the first input. What do you type? Uh, uh, 12, 12 noon. You type one, two. One, one, two. And you see one, two. Yes. Okay. And now let's say you want it to be for 12 on the dot. So you go to the second input. What do you type? On the dot. 12. Or oh, oh, one, no. two. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Yes. And yeah. now you've been brought to the forbidden hour of zero, zero, because it doesn't automatically pop over to the no, next thing. Sir. You oh, will no. always be on the hour. Oh, there no. are no controls of the minutes oh. unless you hit the over button. Yeah. If you hit right, then it goes right. to the other thing. But if you do it the way that every other fucking website on the planet goes, where it's like, like, enter, tick, enter, tick, enter, tick. enter, yeah. like, then you're just, no, you're just going uh, uh, one, tick. two, zero. Zero, zero, uh -huh. and now you're launching it at One, zero, 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 zero. And you can't do zero, zero. The way that they have it set up is so fucked. It's so fucked. I hate it. So when you type, it defaults to whatever your. I just want everybody is. to know who's a patron. This is the struggle we have. This is these are the these real are the problems. These are the real problems in America. So for for spoiler in time, <laughs> we're gonna I, get rid of them. I scheduled I'm the Joe post. Biden. <laughs> hey man, when I came in here, when I came in here, I said <laughs> no more. No more with the Patreon fields. Right. Also, so, also the pandemic's over. What? Why won't you get the booster? <laughs> <laughs> so you say you get two boosters, <laughs> and you're still in the same field. His name was Come Grandpa. on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, Come on, Come man. on man. So it's a, it's like a, uh, it's like a rolling <laughs> counter. So if it says like 59, right, and you start to, and you type zero. <laughs> It fucks up because it thinks you wanted 90. Yeah. Because the five gets pushed off of right. the zero. That's so, why my lights were red and I had stormtroopers behind me for that speech. <laughs> so then you would you instead so have to do your zero, five, is turning five, into nine, Harry Carey. <laughs> no, you would have to. No. It, you would just type one. Holy it's a right. very, it's, it's, <laughs> it's very weird in particular and it doesn't work. Good. Yeah. It's like those same websites where you click on a time and it gives you every five minute increment. Yes. And you're like, it's like that. 
<laughs> Come on, man. Uh, Come on, man. Come on, man. Corn pop was a numpad. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Petra. <laughs> Corn pop was a bad dude. Take me out to the ball game. <laughs> I will say when we were at uh, 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 Chicago, when we were at O'Hare uh, the other day, <laughs> uh, we we drove at Midway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we were uh, uh, at the Harry Carey uh, uh, bar. bar. Uh, he has a good IPA. <laughs> I'm sure. Just just so everybody knows, the Harry Carey IPA, Dees. Okay, I only know Harry Carey from the Saturday Night the Will Ferrell, Ferrell bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. End of statement. Is that should I know more about him? Yes, than that? he was an incredible uh, uh, color commentary. You would say he did, or was he just the announcer for for the Cubs? I think he just. I think he, he but, would do the play by play for yes. the radio and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I think I, I can't remember if he went one mic his entire career, but he was very similar to Vin Scully, where like uh, uh, baseball announcers tend to be. Kind of singular they voices. Gotta, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the iconic ones. And because that, that's all you want to hear. He did it uh, forever uh, for a very long time. Okay. And then also, uh, uh, and he loved astronomy. In fact, oh, yes. shit. Somebody, somebody, uh, 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 find for me the legendary Cubs uh, uh, manager rant. There is a Cubs manager rant where he's shitting on all of Cubs fans because hmm. it was well into, I believe, either the 80s or 90s before the Cubs ever played a night game. Mm. They used to only play day games. What? At Wrigley Field. Well, okay. Uh, and it was like... like they didn't, uh, couldn't afford lights? What? No, that's mainly because Wrigley Field is located in like... A, 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 Wrigley my, my neighborhood. Yeah. Like like picture Wrigley Field happens to be mm. where I live. Okay. Uh imagine how the neighbors would feel uh, of their yeah. being okay. a game and all the people uh, out there. But that um, also okay. it's like it's a gigantic dumb. fucking tourist thing. Yeah. And eventually they gave into it and they were like, sure, we'll play night games there. But uh the Cubs manager went on, and this is in the eighties. Went on this fucking huge rant about how all the fans suck and like, <laughs> like they're just layabout assholes because they ain't got nothing to do during the day. Like they're not fucking working. It's one of the greatest rants ever because you can hear a vacuum going in the background <laughs> as somebody is vacuum going. Wow! And, and he's just like, you're just like, they don't fucking work. They just come here and they get drunk at three o'clock. What kind of people are these? Uh, uh, it's it's fucking great. But anyway, so. Harry hmm. Carey, who was the uh, uh, the voice of the Cubs, not only on the radio, but then live, would sing Take Me Out to the Ball Game uh. Uh, uh, during the seventh inning stretch. Yeah. Oh, fun. And uh. then eventually it became guest people. I think they still do that. They still have like a guest that will come in and sing it. There wow. was a brief period that uh, like he, he had a heart attack or something and uh, he was out and they were trying on like all kinds of other characters including at one point Bill Murray yeah. was was calling the game for the Cubs oh. and, and I saw a clip and, it's, and, and I don't know what happened but it's just like uh, somebody uh, hit and got on base and he's like oh isn't it just a shame that the guy didn't trip and land on his face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there we go. I think we're up to date on Harry King. Okay, there you go. I yeah. thought I thought he liked space a lot. I, I think that was the, the the idea was he was always kind of this red faced weird character that mm -hmm. it was like perfect for Will Ferrell to heighten yeah. to like insane proportions because mm -hmm. you kind of felt even just looking at Harry Carey, that he would be that weird. He he lived on on, on the front edge of the uncanny valley of being a cartoon, and then and then uh, Will the Ferrell could pick valley. it up and take it up on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. kind of yeah. reminds me of uh, well, a a local DJ who just passed recently, John Ailey, oh. who was known to be just like you would listen to him and you go, "What is he talking about?" Harry Carey was one of those where you'd be like, what does this have to do with anything? But then you still oddly still love the guy. So. Uh, uh, how long ago did Breaking Bad go off the air? Uh, six, seven years, maybe? That's the most recent reference that we have made in this entire hour. <laughs> it's been nothing but Conan O'Brien or McDonald. I just made one. I'm, no, I'm I'm okay with all of this. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand. Let's sink, why. Let's sink yeah. into it. Let's sink yeah. into it. I just want to let, let everybody know. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I'm going to break Josie's heart by explaining that the last episode doesn't count. 
and I don't believe it, and I believe Norm MacDonald and his tweet thread. Uh, you want to show, show you, come up with text her, her the opinion. professor of logic bit though. Uh, oh oh yeah, know, text it, her that. That'll be a whole thing because she uh, has to understand who's. Authority, this is on. But, but she's going all the way straight forward. Like, next up is going to be uh, uh, El Camino. This is the F slayer. Uh, the movie. Though. That might t- take mm-hmm. her up. Which one? Uh, the, the movie with El Justin Camino. Camino. Uh, yeah. Uh, did I say El Camino? You did. Yeah. Uh, well, in your face. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one who stopped. You're yeah. the only one who stopped that up. Yeah, we're yeah. Like, all right. In your face. We're ready to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so and then next up will be Better Call Saul and uh, so I, I, I'm 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 bummed that I won't watch Saul. The... Saul. <laughs> Saul 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 uh, yeah no I'm I'm super stoked that she's gonna take the full trip and it's really weird because I I, I do I'd had I hate to say it but I think Better Call Saul is better than Breaking Bad that is what I've heard yeah. I don't think that's a controversial thing to say I, 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 it's always weird whenever a sequel is you know, quote unquote, better than the original because it wouldn't have existed if it weren't for the original. So it's like, mm-hmm. yes, like a, a a child should be better than the the parent. That's the that's the goal of a parent, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, so, wow. Very heavy. You okay. Took, you took a very light topic, and I feel like you made it heavier. I made it heavier. I right. made it heavier. Let me lighten it up again. So uh, uh, you remember? I think it was 2012. We were trying to put. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, just to keep the the, the recency here, uh, uh, just fearless freep in in the chat. So anyway, <laughs> our new friends, friends Ferdinand. Ferdinand. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, <laughs> Michael Dukakis. Exactly. I, 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 Take I, me out. <laughs> 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 So I think it was 2012 that we were uh, shooting B-roll for a pitch reel, sizzle reel for a magic series. Uh, this is uh, Greg Grumberg, friend of the show. Um, okay, yep. And uh, 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 he parades me around to all of his celebrity friends, and one of them was... <laughs> you went on You went on a hell... Uh, have you... That was a bonkers. Have you, uh, have you talked about oh, that? I don't know that I have, but I feel comfortable talking about it because now. Because it's been long enough, but, but you went on a day trip of him just bombing into everybody. Like, he... He went into his because uh, uh, famous people in LA they have this. They can go into their address book and mm. uh, uh, at the Apple Store they can help you sort it by Q rating. Uh, so it'll just be <laughs> only oh, the most famous people. Uh, uh, and no, he was just like, wait, uh, "No, I'm. It's a joke." Oh, but oh. yes, <laughs> damn it. Uh, no, uh, it turns out that Greg Grunberg is like legitimately one of the nicest, most humble. But anyway, he's people. got he's got a lot of famous people in his fucking. Uh, uh, Rolodex, and yeah. he just bombed Brian around in like a six-hour period to so like, as many as he could. Do a trick. Star tour and, as and, well. and, and so and so it's like like uh, he's like, eh, we're at JJ's place. Uh, uh, yeah, where's JJ? Well, he's in the middle of a meeting. He's like, okay, <laughs> and he kicks open the door, and there's JJ Abrams, and he's like, Brian, do a trick. <laughs> exactly. And how, JJ, does, JJ, how does that make you feel? <laughs> uh, great. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and, and, and JJ in the middle is just like. Sure, we know the wars, but what about the stars? <laughs> what? And Brian's like, pick a card. <laughs> the history of stars is as old as the universe itself. So one of one of right, them was Brian Cranston. Hey, Brian. And, yep. uh, uh, and, and so um, last night, uh, we're seeing the scene where uh, 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 the vacuum salesman, you know, the, uh, is... Um, uh, introducing uh, Walter White to his new digs and whatever, and I and I say, hey, yeah, pa- he paused, and she's like, okay. I was like, you know, I uh, I taught I taught him a trick. It's it's pretty cool. And she goes, ugh, I'm not impressed anymore, Dad. You've taught everyone a trick. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so we go on watching for about four minutes, and then she hits the space bar, and she goes, wait, the vacuum guy or Walter White. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like Walter White, uh, Brian Cranston. Yeah. Uh, we hung out for a day. We talked about how sweetest guy. <laughs> and, and and she's like, okay, mm. yeah. And then just sort of, yeah. No, it was great. Did you show her? No. Fuck her then. Who cares? It, well, it, well, I mean, uh, uh, to be honest, I don't know where this sizzle reel is. It's uh, really. It's. I mean, I mean, I. You could text. I, I could call people Running. to get people yeah. or whatever, but yeah. uh, like it's and 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 it's archived somewhere, I'm sure. But but like in one day it was like the dude from Desperate Housewives, uh, Andy Dick, Andy Dick in his oh. in his trailer, yes, uh, on on uh, probably seven acres of property. <laughs> like uh, I don't think he owned it. <laughs> uh, 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 who else? JJ uh, Abrams. Uh, 
uh, Brian Cranston and uh, 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 well, there's oh, definitely shit. other dudes in his band, right? Yes, everybody. Yeah. In, because uh, he was in a band with only other actors Bob, Bob from Ginny, television. Uh, the Bachelor. Yeah. Um, it was called Band cool from TV. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh nice. uh, Adrian Pazdar. Oh, from Heroes. Yeah, of course. Yeah, remember, we saw him at uh, Dragon Con. Yep. Adrian Pazdar. That's definitely a Adrian thing I remember. Pazdar. Adrian Pazdar. Adrian Dude, Pazdar. I forgot about Heroes. Well, it, it, uh, well, that's because you, you watch that first season, you're like, cool. And then the second season, you're like, uh-oh. Well, what's going on? Was there a writer's strike or something? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, also, it's like I watched the season one, and I was like, well, they haven't made a Days of Future Past movie yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> glad that I was able to see a TV show with sure. fucking Kmart characters uh, uh, instead of the ones that are... Like in the famous comic book, I guess that was the one thing was that it was like they did rip off so many fucking epic comic stories. But but that was at a time where we were so hungry, we were ready mm-hmm. for the Avengers. But uh, the, the Avengers, yeah, yes. the Avengers, <laughs> the Avengers. No, it was it was the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, it fucking ruled. And I really would have loved it if they would have admitted it. That was the thing that I remember. I still remember it actually affecting my fandom of the show. Yeah, was that Tim Kring was like, oh, I'm days of. Future X, what? X, X what? X yes. Watch? X uh, uh, the 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 watch the watch uh, the men watch person or, or, or the watch women? people? I don't watch I don't, folk. I have never heard of this. And yeah. it's like, no, just be like, hey, look, there's a million stories in comic books. We love them all. We're trying to tell an epic. We're trying to take a, like this form of storytelling. Yes. And do it and be like, like, look, yes, we're shamelessly ripping this shit off. It do you like it or do you not? Watch the goddamn show. It might have been in an era where, um, uh, in mass media, nobody was sure about the rules when it comes to litigation on that kind of stuff. Because now there are so many superhero everythings that you could say, hey, we're just another in a big old crowd. Well, I mean, I, I think th- they probably still would have been clear of any kind of legal issue because See, it, it's not like Days of Future Past invented the idea of somebody from another world coming to warn somebody about another thing. I Don't just, do the thing I just thought Tim Kring was playing City of Heroes and said you City know, of Heroes was so yeah. quick. Okay, yes. We have to stop because otherwise all I'm going to do is talk about <laughs> City of Heroes. Mission Control, are you there? Yeah, hello. All right, we turn it back to you, sir. All right, thank you to the green Say room. the cheerleader. Hey, Bryce, do you have a doghouse? Uh, well, I've got a doghouse computer ah, in front God. of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you to the green room. Great room. Hello, everybody. We're going to get started with the great night show in just a moment. Thank you all for joining me. I am still Bryce Castillo, your pre-show navigator, bringing you in and out of the green room, escort, escorting you in and out of the green room. How's it, how's it going, everybody? Uh, it's still September 20th, 2022. I'm going to pull up the Discord here. I do believe we did have a birthday borner. Uh, to uh, to share today. If you want to get your birthday shout out or maybe someone you know, someone you love, uh, go into our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. We got a birthday border corner there. It's a channel. For example, you can be like Fearless Freep, whose birthday uh, was last week on the 13th. We were out last week, so we did find out about that. And uh, Shane, uh, Shane's daughter, Violet Olivia, was born last Monday, September 12th, 2022. Hooray! Hooray, Shane, and uh, happy birth to Violet Olivia. And we got Donkey Business, who is letting us know it was their birthday on Friday. Happy birthday to Donkey Business and everyone who submits birthdays in the birthday corner. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us here once again on twitch.tv slash night attack, where uh, we uh, uh, are bringing you more of the great night you know and love. I was playing a, a, a game the other day. I was playing and played, a, fin- played and finished a new game uh, the other day. While we we were off last week, we recorded that episode off uh, on, on Sunday. Uh, a Toem, Toem. That's on. Uh, I think it's on. It might be on Game Pass and it's on, on PlayStation and stuff. It's on PC. Uh, it was very cute. It's like uh, Pokemon Snap. It's like Pokemon Snap. If if it's like Pokemon Snap. It's very much like Pokemon. Snap. <laughs> You like go around these little worlds. It's like if Pokemon Snap was uh, Hidden Folks. Do you guys remember Hidden Folks? The uh, uh, the kind of Where's Waldo sort of uh, black and white game. Yeah, you know, you you all remember Hidden Folks. Uh, it's kind of like that because it's also black and white, or it's monochrome. Um, 
but you're going around and you're taking photos of stuff. It's very cool. Pokemon Snap without the Pokemon. Yeah, it's Snap. It's just Snap. It, it's actually it's actually an interesting time for like video games about photography. There was that game a few years ago, uh, Umar Umarangi Generation, which was very similar, where you were going around uh, this kind of a, almost like refugee uh, 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 affected uh, locales and you'd have different objectives and you'd have to do them in a certain amount of time or uh, or it's like, oh, take photos of, get 10 birds in one shot or take a, take a, te take a telephoto uh, picture of uh, a, a mushroom. And that, one, and that one was very much, that one was more like a, Toem is like very wholesome and very like, hey, fill out your Pokedex. Where Umarangi Generation uh, generation uh, is is uh, uh, it's more like Tony Hawk because when you take a photo, then it does the like the Dead Rising thing where it grades you based on what you had, and then you can do filters and all sorts of stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But photography, photography uh, in video games, very very interesting, interesting subject. I remember I was really obsessed when the PS3 was coming out with. Uh, uh, Africa, the the uh, photography, the wildlife photography game. Do I can pull it up here? It was. Uh, I I was told. I'm told it was uh, maybe a little clinical. Maybe a little uh, a little plain, maybe. Uh, but it was it was cool. The idea that you would like go out on safari. And uh, uh, and take photos of. Of rhinos and stuff. We're talking, we're talking rhinos. We're talking rhinos. That I know. I'm sick of this Mitch McConnell. <laughs> I'm tired of this Mitch McConnell and his Republican in name, in name only. only. You know how I hate Mitch that game where you're playing <laughs> rhino and you're uh -huh. just taking all these pictures of <laughs> Mitt Romney. Of Mitt Romney. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, if you get him in an action pose, exactly, then it's double points. I saw it, dude. I'm watching all these attack ads now because it's political season, and yeah. uh, it's so funny because politicians are hacks like magicians, and you can <laughs> tell who they're ripping off. Oh. And I heard a dude who was doing a Mitt Romney. Oh, voice. really? Wow. Wait, uh, uh, okay. And it's like, like the way you can tell the Mitt Romney tell is he does the like, huh, huh. He does like, like the like like, uh, and I asked you, why 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 like like, mm -hmm. like he has he has that like, this, a soft it's kind of like regal mm. like like why ah. Ah. I, I, like ah. I ask uh, why should a single mother not do the ba 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 TikTok. Put that on TikTok. Breaking Breaking Romney. Breaking <laughs> Romney. Breaking Romney. Uh, uh, so what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck is this? So this was a this was a, an old PS3 game, a launch like a launch game uh, a called launch Africa, game. and you would go out on safari and you would go and take photos of uh, African wildlife. And you'd uh, so like yeah, here. Yes, though. <laughs> the hippopotamus is real got a Christ. got a real. Hippodonkadonk. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but I don't know. I, for whatever reason, I was like obsessed with the idea of this game. Like I never played oh, it. I still, of this, of this. You're into. Yeah. Cause I like, and I liked photography. I, yeah. you know, I did photography would in high you, school. So. Would you like to go out on safari in Africa and take pictures of African animals? Uh, if, if I wasn't, a, if I was going with like a crew, yeah. Then I would you be. Wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do not, it alone. You're not an eat, pray, love kind of motherfucker. No, 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 no. I don't. Certainly but, not if I'm going into a wild land. I don't eat or pray or no, love or wild love. lands. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he only he only drinks. <laughs> I only. Yeah, it's only Soylent. I only sin. Yeah, and yeah, that's it. He certainly doesn't ask for a connection to another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. And uh, 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 he has a heart of uh, stone. That's right. Because I'm, I'm Grinching. <laughs> I'm, I'm in my Grinching. grinching. All right. Well, uh, uh, what? Uh, 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 yeah. uh, no. But I. But I, I. I. don't know. I like. I was in. I did. I was in so the school if, if photography. There was a group of, of of safariers. What do they call them? Uh, safari uh, photographers. 
Uh, no, 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 no. They're people safarians. on Safari. People on Safari. People yeah. on Safari. Rastafari. They're, they're Rastafari Safari users. users. Yeah. They're Apple users. They're far, <laughs> far <laughs> Safarians. <laughs> well, if it was if it was like, oh, hey, we've got a little photography club. We're there's like a package here. You know, oh, we can go to do this thing. Yeah. Uh, then I'd be into it. But I, I'm not like I'm not looking to carve my own path down the Serengeti. All right, let me let me pitch you this, just okay. in case you know you ever snap and need to fuck off. Just in case. Uh, just in case. So the homie John Teasdale is in Bali right now. Ooh. And he's, you know, he went through some personal shit. He's got a good job that lets him work remote. He can kind of go anywhere. And so he's decided, fuck it, going to Bali. Yeah. Goes to a surf and yoga retreat. Oh. In which... Watch it, hey, 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 I know, tough crowd, tough crowd. Uh, Let me guess two things you do there. (laughs) Yes, you're correct on both. (laughs) No, it's mostly brunch preparation and calisthenics. Uh, So he's he's, he's at this retreat. He's there, and, and, and one of the things at night, they all watched Eat, Pray, Love together because it I've, is a large collection of people who are, are are there kind of by themselves. They're finding themselves in a place. Apparently, Bali wow. collects lonely white people. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Amer- lonely white. Well, I guess white people in general because there's it's like a, a, a lonely, we're a lonely like cult country. But also, but also uh, 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 Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's a gr- That's a great. Bit. Would you be into that? I would. I Brent, would like to. Bryce's natural interest <laughs> in that idea. I would like on a scale from one to ten. I would like to run the eat, pray, love bar that attracts <laughs> a, that attracts. So you first time Americans. So you feel like you should be running. I feel the like thing. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna, and like oh, you got to know this place. You like I'm gonna be the fucking ways of Bali. So you want to be the 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 the, the Ricardo Maltabon for that fantasy island? Oh yeah yeah yeah! I want to put the casa Bryce. in Casablanca. <laughs> you want to be Bryce <laughs> uh, Bryce to Sea Island? Bryce to Sea Island. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be neat. That would be neat. Of of which is funny because like I you've it's never stuck. hosted a party <laughs> like yeah, well, hold in on, all of our friendship. <laughs> Hey, when's the first time that you fucking? When, when's the time I've been to your? I've never even you've been to lived your place. here for one year. Brian's never been to my place because you've never invited. <laughs> uh, Which uh, is my entire uh, I, point. I can't confirm. Never invited. That's okay. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Look, I don't like holidays. Not a You're holiday straight Which is why, the only reason I point this out is because I agree with your <laughs> assessment of yourself. I do feel like you know yourself, which would mean that you weren't necessarily. But I have people. Man I have. Day. I have pe- uh, yes, I'm not a big party. Guy. I have people over to hang out. Yes, I hang. Just not any Just of not the people on the camera here. or microphone. To at be the fair, smart move. <laughs> Keep boundaries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I believe. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Do we have to do a show? I think we got to do a show here. Thank you to Justin Robert Young. I was glad that we could get, uh, yeah, get a buddy. little bit more here. Appreciate it. We started a little late today, but that's A-OK. But you know what is never late and always on time is your friends over at patreon.com slash great night, where you can go and support this program, the green room, and uh, the main show and the after show, all sorts of good stuff, the bones even, all in one RSS feed. You don't even need to log in. It's so fast. It's so fun. It's so easy. Everyone can do it. Patreon.com slash great night. Night. Everyone can do it.